Yo, 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 what's up, beautiful souls? My name is Josh Sterling. I am an oracle. I see past, present, future. I'm also connected to the Custic Records, and I'm a healer. I'm a prophet. I'm a multitude of things. I am a priest and a high priestess, by the way. So I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> well, a lot of bit of both, okay? I'm one of the most powerful beings in the universe. So I wanted to definitely come to you guys and give you guys another case, okay? Um, so... I went ahead and burned some sage. Hey, you guys go. So I gotta make sure my uh, my little ring light is together, right? So this case here is dealing with a man who killed his child and he also uh, murdered his wife, his disabled wife who was mentally challenged. As you watch this footage, you'll be able to see how he is mentally not present as well okay um i'm gonna show you the footage and then i'm gonna um give you guys what spirit had to say and what us as humanity need to do to fix this terrible trend and dysfunction okay i am not sorry for something I didn't do, and I am not sorry for the things I did do. Mr. Neal, so he's partially possession. That's what you get for partially possession. That's his, his voice went up and down like that. He is not balanced. It's not all, he's not all there. There's another entity within him. Severely bipolar is a side effect of partial possession of outside entities acting on the soul plexus and the subconscious. Okay, so I'm going to tackle this. Okay, first and foremost, this young man is mentally challenged, okay? He was raised very abusive. He was also sexually abused. He was also 
taken advantage of in many ways. And then he was also was raised with this complex of men shouldn't show emotion and men are to control women. And these men out here that's been molested and stuff like that, that cannot fully cope with this type of trauma, they out here beating women, killing women because something in them is, is toxic. So when this pain festers, this thing called partial possession, bipolar, in the flesh, we call it bipolar, we call it schizophrenic, stuff like that. This is of outside entities acting on the flesh. Okay? Period. Okay? So then you have another, he's in a relationship with a woman who's also very, um, where dysfunction has also caused her to be mentally challenged. You have the beast is at work, right? So as you heard, um, when he got shot, she was not there for him, okay? So because she felt alone, she allowed this crazy man to come back because she was coming from a place of lack and being alone and she allowed the devil back in. You never do stuff coming from a place of lack because what you invite in is not going to be conducive to your soul mission and what is pertinent and come from the utmost high God. You never come from a place of lack and loneliness. You let God provide it, okay? So, um, the child was unfortunately the product of both of them. So, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Do you know what kind of child these two was going to raise? To be let loose on society. Okay, so I don't need to elaborate. Okay, some things need to be controlled. Okay, um, to where this, this soul that was in this baby was not able to breathe. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we wanna talk about the cycle of reincarnation and how humanity is messing up the process. So you have these people murders, you have killings where these souls aren't able to ascend and make it into the light. So that God don't have souls to, to reincarnate into these, these, these births, people just having babies, just because they think they in love or because they didn't wear a condom or because they just having frivolous sex. When it's sex is something sacred, it's not supposed to be something that's supposed to be frivolous and you're not supposed to be a thought box and oops, I got pregnant. No. Okay, because this flesh is supposed to hold this most sacred soul of God, of the utmost highlight God. But because of humanity and the bruise that the beast have put on humanity, these pure souls are into this toxic flesh. And then the process of the life cycle is thrown off all over the universe. So now... Everything is off. Unacceptable. Everybody needs to stop thinking about themselves. Okay, we all got to do better. Okay, period. Okay. Should this young man be locked up and, and put on TV like he's normal? He's not normal. He also needs a spiritual cleansing. Not just somebody with a degree that's talking and getting rid of the surface. That's not going to do nothing. Giving them meds, that's not going to do nothing. Somebody needs to clean out that soul plexus. That pain that's lingering. That's causing him to mistreat his brethren and his kings and queens. And kill his baby, his spawn. To rid himself of them demons. That have latched themselves onto him because of the pain that he's has not been able to let go. I've ran into people who's been partially possessed. Okay? I've prayed over and watched him shake. This is real. But everybody in a 3D, y'all, they don't see it. I'm in a 12D. Majority is in a 3D. Okay? We got to do better. This is not okay. So now you have a soul. Thank God that baby. 
that baby made it into the light. Okay. Um, the the other one because of the mental instability that was caused from her past. She's still lingering a little bit because she's still kind of what happened, like you know, because of the. Listen, not okay. Even these these curses that's put on these lineages. And they're labeling these people to have kids and raise these kids in the normal society. And they're not normal. They have these entities, these unseen entities that are latched onto them. That are, they're carrying them into society and affecting other people. Now this innocent child who had a chance is killed. But God got him and saved him. So little king... Courageous. Queen. Y'all queens got to choose y'all babies. You don't need no man to validate you. Just because you feel lonely or you feel lack, you call out to God. He, Jesus will be your man, okay? And God will send the right one. Uh, love don't hurt. Love don't kill. Love don't call you names. Love don't make you feel less than love don't compare itself to you love don't judge love don't isn't jealousy love ain't envy love is love and if it's not making you happy and wake up in the morning and ready then it ain't for you you turn to god and if you tell a crazy motherfucker no the first time don't think you're gonna invite him in there the second time and he done forgot We got to do better, okay? I send love and light to all you beautiful souls. This is my last video for the night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Love, love, love is the only thing that combats evil, okay? And when you pray, pray using your heart and your subconscious and your mind. Marry the two and pray with intent and pray with love and light. Because if you pray, towards hatred towards someone or jealousy or envy it's coming back on you and let me put my little um evil eye bracelet in here for all the evil people probably whoever looking bam love uh, love is only thinking about the evil you don't have to know them to love them you don't have to know them to wish them well Okay, if you see somebody that you don't know being mistreated, going through some type of injustice, you step in. You best believe God will treat you in the event that you do godly work. Nothing comes from anything negative. You are still human, so you are. it's all right to have bad days, right? But don't let those bad days make you make irrational, emotional, impulsive, wrong decisions. You stay faithful, you stay prayerful, and you let God work. Then once you take over, it's going to go wrong. Okay? <laughs> Namaste. I love you. All you guys. <laughs>